Hi there! Welcome again to Storytime. Today we're reading Room on the Broom, written by Julia Donaldson, illustrated by Axel Schieffler, produced, edited, and narrated by yours truly. The witch had a cat, and the hat that was black, and long ginger hair in a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on the broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat, the wind blew so wildly it blew off the hat. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes on thundering paws there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog, as keen as can be. Is there room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped a broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and the forest they flew. The dog wagged its tails, and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her braid, just like that. Down cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in her beak. So she dropped it politely and bent her head low, then said as the witch tied her braid in the bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a birdie like me? Yes, cried the witch, so the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped her broomstick, and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the bird shrieked with glee, and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Ah, down, cried the witch as they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely and then said with a croak, as the witch dried her wand on a fold of her cloak, I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a froggy like me? Yes, said the witch, so the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew, the frog jumped for joy, but he snapped the broom in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud, and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. I am a dragon as mean as can be, and which with french fries tastes delicious to me. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help! cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon grew near with a glint in his eyes and said, Just this once I'll have witch without fries. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered, and furred. It had four frightful heads, and it had wings like a bird. And its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl, and a growl, and a croak, and a shriek. It dripped, and it squelched as it strode from the ditch. And it said to the dragon, Buzz off! That's my witch! 
Oh, and the dragon grew back, and he started to shake. Uh, I, I'm sorry, he sputtered. I, I have made a mistake. <coughs> it's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and whoosh was off through the sky. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone. Throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered a spell. Hickety ziggity zaggity zoom Then out rose a truly magnificent broom, with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird, and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch chapped her broomstick, and whoosh! They were gone. Thanks for reading with us today. We'll read again next time.